Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to The Book Refuge and welcome to a kind of sort of recommendations video today. Um, this video is being sponsored by my channel members which are levels running romantic renegade and faded friend levels um i have been a bit slacking in doing my poll video for this month so here we are <laughs> it's time um and this is a video that i've been meaning to make but i was a bit intimidated by it just because there are so many narrators that i love and i knew i was going to forget someone and sure enough like i started trying to do like five to eight of both like female and male narrators that I love and then as I was finding books that my favorite narrators have done I was reminded of other narrators that I love and so I ended up with a very long list but we have about 20 that I'm going to go over today and my plan for this is I will probably show like one book that they have done just to spare myself in editing. I'm not going to flip through every single book that I end up talking about, but I will put up like my favorite one that they've narrated. Um, if you don't know, something you can do in Audible is you can actually search by the narrator that you like. And so, you know, if there's someone that I'm recommending and you want to see if they do any books by favorite authors of yours, you can absolutely go into Audible either on your phone or on the desktop and you can type in that narrator and it will give you all of theirs that they have, um, which is very fun. So we're gonna dive in and we're gonna see how this video turns out. I foresee myself saying a lot like, oh, their voice is just so great because that's literally what we're judging them on. Um, but there's some really cool connections that you start to see between narrators and people who you know, maybe narrate together quite often. Um, and that can be kind of fun once you start to notice the patterns and everything like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive into these. We'll see how this goes. Oh, one more note. I know that in a couple of videos I had posted, I was talking about testing out my new microphone. Now I know that it can be like jarring to people to switch because now we're using um, this. This time I have it on the outside of my clothes, so hopefully there won't be that muffled sound. But just to reiterate, the big reason why I'm adding a mic is that most people, when they play back my videos, when I just use natural sound, you know, when I just use my phone sound, my videos have to be turned all the way up to be heard, whether that is like if they're choosing to watch me on their TV or they're watching me on their phone without headphones. So if you are watching me and you don't quite like the sound, I understand maybe, you know, turn down the volume a little bit and it won't have that kind of like fake sound that it gets. But this is the thing that I'm doing to kind of improve the quality of my videos. It's time. But anyway, enough of that spiel. We're trying it on the outside of the clothes today because the two videos I did um, earlier this week or last week, I had the microphone like under my clothes and I think that's what was causing a lot of the muffled sounds. So we'll see how that goes. All right, diving in. So I'm just kind of going to go through this. There isn't really any rhyme or reason to the order I'm going through these. Um, I started with like men and then I had women, but then I went back to men again. So it's just all over. We're going to go down the list. So the first person that I have to mess it, men, mention, <laughs> who is one of my favorite narrators ever, and I'm also going to say that phrase a lot, so sorry for the repetitive nature, but that's going to be Shane East. Um, if there is a book with a British hero in it, a romance, you're probably getting Shane East. It's very likely that he will be doing the sexy, smoky voice of whatever, uh, British man that is in that book. <laughs> um, specifically, some of my favorites that he has done are, he's done a lot of books by Louise Bay. Um, I read through like a whole series of hers. She has some quick, short, fun contemporaries. They were like office romances. There was also a series that had like British lords and dukes in it and stuff, which is really fun. Um, and then he's done a couple of my favorite by Emma Chase, oh, which I just adore. And then he is someone who works quite often with Lauren Blakely. Now, let's just say it now. In the romance narrator community, Lauren Blakely's name is going to come up with a lot. Like, 
over half of the narrators I'm going to share with you have been involved in a Lauren Blakely project. That's because Lauren Blakely not only has an extensive library of books she's written, but she also has done quite a few Audible originals, quite a few like full cast productions, and there are a few narrators that are my faves who partner with her quite often. So you're going to hear me say Lauren Blakely books on a lot of these narrators because they've pretty much all done one of hers at one time. But I very much enjoy Shane East. He has his own production company as well. So if you ever go to his website, you would see that there's the books he's narrated and then there's the books that he is a producer for. And so, you know, authors can reach out and they can end up finding the perfect pairing for their book and then they do the production for it as well, which is really cool. Next, I want to mention a narrator who, he kind of stands alone to me as his talent, um, but also specifically for the books that he narrates. And that's going to be Robert Petkoff, or I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, who anyone who's listened to a Cressley Cole book knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> he is the voice of some of my favorite immortals after dark. Um, well, he's the voice of all of them, but I mean, he will forever be the voice of Lothair in my head. He's the voice of Lachlan and Monroe. And I mean, again, he's the voice of all of them, but he so distinctly does like their accents and makes them all individual, both the, the male characters and the female characters that just speaking the name of that character brings the narration that he does to mind for me. And I think he's so talented. Now he doesn't only do books for Cressley Cole, obviously. He's also done a lot for Gina Showalter, um, as well as some like contemporary and fiction novels. And in total, he's done over 300 titles. That's something I was going to say too. Shane East has done over 300 as well. I wrote the number of books they have listed on Audible, and I'm going to say that for everybody. So Robert Pepkoff, he just, again, kind of stands alone to me for his talent. And I don't think I would have made it through all of the books in that series if I wasn't listening to him narrate them. Um, I was able to binge that series extremely quickly because I listened to all the audiobooks. They are magnificent. They're, they're so good. I love them so much. Then we have Sebastian York, who has over 445 titles. And, oh man, he has done some of my favorite romance novels, including, and most importantly, The Takeover. Yes, Sebastian York is the voice of Tristan. I actually loved this narrator before I ever listened to the book of The Takeover. I mean, I read an arc of The Takeover, so I read it long before the audiobook was out. But he just will always have a place in my heart because of that. He's also done many titles for Penelope Ward and Emma Chase. Um, he also, uh, yeah, he does my favorite Emma Chase. Uh, a lot of Emma Chase's books are hero point of view. Um, not a ton of authors, romance authors do that, but she does some books that are only the hero's point of view and Sebastian York does a voice of one of those too. He has a very unique sounding voice too. And I really, really, he's fantastic. Then we have Troy Duran who has to be brought up. He has almost 400 titles on, um, Audible and he is the voice of JT Geisinger for me. He does all of her Irish heroes. Um, well, I mean, there's more than just Irish heroes in that series, but he did the cruel duet, which whoop, I was going to, he did the cruel duet as well as narrated all of the Queens and monsters. So this again is a hero who he is the voice of some of my favorite books. <laughs> These were all six star reads to me. And a big part of that is the narration, like the narration for Daddy Declan will just always be in my heart so deeply. And, but he also does quite a few fantasy and paranormal titles. Um, I don't have specific authors to share for that, but I was looking like the genres he tends to cover. He does a lot of fantasy and paranormal, which is cool. Then we have Joe Arden, who this is a narrator who pairs with Lauren Blakely quite a bit. So I wanted to mention that, but he has a oh, 550 titles. He also has like co-written some books with Lauren Blakely, which is kind of cool. Um, 
and he also has paired he's he's in quite a few of those productions like i said that have like the full cast um shane east and joe arden have a couple of books they've done for lauren blakely that were gay romance and they're very well performed they also have some backup narrators who do other voices in there as well but very very good <sighs> Then we have Jacob Morgan, who I totally forgot to mention this with Sebastian York, but he and Jacob Morgan did Him together, which is a gay romance. Um, it's a hockey romance that is very well known. Like Him and Us, which is like what the duet's name is, is very well loved by the romance community. It's so good. And they are very well known for doing that. Um, Jacob Morgan has done quite a few gay romances. He also narrated uh, many of the books for Sierra Simone, um, which is just, oh, so hot. So like he does Priest and he's the voice of Tyler Bell. He's also in Saint. Um, and he just, oh, he just gets me so good. He's also done Prisoner by Sky Warren and Annika Martin, which is a dark romance. He's done quite a few titles for Helena Hunting, which are a bit lighter, more contemporary fun books. Um, but again, he's been a, in many that I enjoy quite a bit. He's done over 230 titles, which is cool. He's also a writer himself, I believe, because when I was looking him up, he has some titles that he's written as well. Then I have a couple women to share. Like I said, I kind of like went back and forth with these. So Elizabeth Evans is another one I wanted to mention that she's very distinct to me because she's done many of SJM's titles. So she is the voice of Aelin and um, all of those wonderful ones. She's also done a couple of the Akatar books, but there is another narrator that did like some, I don't know what the reason was for that, but she does the majority of Sarah J. Mass's books, we'll say. But when I was looking her up, because she's done over 200 titles, she's also done some for Elise Kova and some other fantasy and YA titles that she's done. But I just really love listening to her. And I'm currently re-listening, you know, to... Well, actually, I'm listening to the Throne of Glass series for the first time, but I've listened to the Agatar books before. Then there is Lucy Rivers. She has over 200 titles and she does quite a few contemporary books. She also has done one of Gianna Darling's titles and she's done quite a few for Elle Kennedy. Um, she's someone I see paired up with a lot of my favorite male narrators at different times. So I very much enjoy her. There is Erin Mallon who has done over 500 titles that is amazing um, she's also an author herself too and she is a part of that gang that i've mentioned she's done quite a few for lauren blakely she's often paired with jason clark in some darker romances i've listened to some of them she's done quite a few of Jana aston again lauren blakely she's been a part of those and i really enjoy erin mallon's voice so which is good because she's in a lot of stuff then there is erin shedlock who does a lot of mafia and darker contemporary. He has a title here and there in Maggie Cole's books. Also, I think he's done one for Sophie Lark. Um, he's also done some work for Serena Ackroyd. So he definitely does a lot of like the mafia and darker titles and I really enjoy his voice. He's done over 350 audiobooks. Then there is a couple that I want to talk about who are actually married and they've been narrating books together for many years now. And that is Wen Ross and Kai Kennicott. Um, so they have done books separately, but they do a lot of books together and they actually have their own studio at home, which they got built actually like before COVID happened, I believe, um, which worked out great because Again, they're married and they have children. And so being able to, um, they do a lot of like duet narration, which if you don't know, duet narration is when, um, it's the way the queens and monsters are done where the female does all the female parts and the male does all the male parts. And so whether it's in the female's POV or the male's POV, you hear both voices happening. And that to do that narration, you really need to like be in the room with the person um, or it can, go wrong very easily. 
Um, that book that I talked about that has Shane East and Joe Arden in it together, they do du duet narration for that. Um, but they also do dual narration and they do a lot of mafia romance. So I first became aware about this couple when I was listening to Filthy by Serena Aykroyd. Um, I was listening to it upon a reread and my friend actually pointed out that they were a couple that narrate together often. And then when I looked them up, I was like, oh yeah, I've listened to quite a few of their books together. Um, Wen also has some titles on his own. Of course, he's the voice of Raylan uh, from Broken Vow by Sophie Lark. So I have a soft spot for him. Um, but him and Kai have done Maggie Cole books together. They've done two titles in the Mafia War series and they have a title coming up in her spinoff series too. They have done, uh, like I said, a Serena Ackroyd before. They have, they do quite a bit of BDSM. And Kai actually said in an interview once, I listened to, she was on Audibly Addicted, the podcast, and she said she really enjoys like BDSM scenes, narrating them. And I was like, I love it, I love it. So Kai and Wen are a couple that I just love when I see their names together on an audiobook. I know I'm gonna have a great time because uh, Wen can just be so sexy. like. Magnificent. Then there is Ava Erickson, and she has over 200 titles. She is a voice in Dead Man Walking. She's also done quite a few contemporary um, dark romance, and she I often see her paired with either like uh, Jason Clark or Aaron Shedlock. I see her paired with them quite a bit, and I just I just really like the work that she does. So yeah, Dead Man Walking is one I recently. I re-listened to that one with her. Um, I have five more to get through here. So then there is Teddy Hamilton, who of course we had to share, um, who he actually, I messed this up when I was writing it down. Hold on, what did I do? Is it Teddy Hamilton and Joseph Morgan or Jacob Morgan that do him? Because Teddy Hamilton is in him and I think it's also Jacob Morgan. So I might have... I think that I put that as Sebastian York, but I am wrong, so don't mind me with there. But Teddy Hamilton is in him. I will correct that and tell you who's in him with Teddy Hamilton. Sorry if I messed that up. Um, but he also has done quite a few uh, gay romances that he's narrated, um, including some with J.A. Huss. She has some like Minaj books that he's been in. Um, and then he's done quite a few for Krista Callahan um, in her like football series, which I really liked. Then we have Maxine Mitchell. Oh, sorry. Teddy Hamilton has done over 570 titles. So definitely the heaviest hitter off of the list that I've made today. All right. Then we have Maxine Mitchell, who is the voice of Bristol from the Grip Trilogy, which we'll be coming back to in just a moment, I promise you. Um, but she also has done quite a few Kennedy Fox titles, which that's a writing duo that does a lot of fun contemporary romances. And then recently I just discovered that she's done quite a few titles for Melanie Moreland, who is an author I literally just discovered last week. I, I mean, I'd heard of her before, but I'd never read any of her books. And I am so in love with how she sounds and how she does it. Um, so I very much enjoyed that. She's done over 350 titles. And then, as I said, I have Jacoby Diem, who is the voice of Grip and will always be in my heart. He is just his voice is liquid smoke and chocolate and it's delicious. Like it's so, it's so good. He like sings and like raps in Kennedy Ryan's books. Um, he has actually narrated like four or five books for Kennedy Ryan. Like it isn't just the grip trilogy. He did real with her. Um, and also is it hookshot? I think it might be hookshot that he did as well, as well as uh, queen move. So, He's been in quite a few for hers. He's also done some books for Alexandria House, which I haven't read those, but I want to. All right. Then we have Zachary Weber, who has over 240 titles. And he has done just for some authors that I really enjoy. He's done Penelope Ward, Serena Bowen, Lauren Blakely. He's part of that crew. And Corinne Michaels. So many. Um, Penelope Ward, I actually just listened to a couple of hers a few months ago and he was doing voices in those. So that's really fun. 
Um, and then the last one I wanted to mention is Emma Wilder. Um, she has over 300 titles and she has done books with Kennedy Fox, um, Claire Kingsley, Serena Ackroyd, and J.A. Huss. She's been paired up with Teddy Hamilton in some of those. And yeah, Emma Wilder is one that I always like forget about her, but I've listened to quite a few books where she narrated those as well. So all right, I hope this was helpful. It's kind of difficult because like I said, I didn't want to literally write out every single book that I'm talking about with this, but hopefully you get an idea now. These are maybe narrators you can keep an eye out for. If you listen to romance books, like I guarantee you've heard some of these voices before, you just might not know. Um, but I can honestly tell you that there's a few times where I'm on the fence about a book and then I see who the narrator is and it will get me to read it because I'm like, Maybe if I don't totally love this book, I know that I'll love the narrator and it's going to be a great time. So that's definitely something that I do. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you again to my channel members for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.